Hey guys, it's Nina and today I'm here with my June wrap up. June has been like kind of a boring month for me. Uh, like not the books were boring necessarily, just like I haven't really been in the great mood to read so it's I'm kind of slacking but I mean I did read a good amount just not what I usually do. I read seven books this month so yay. Let's just jump right into it. First I have Wink Poppy Midnight by April Genevieve Tuckle. I don't know how you say her last name. Um, I really liked the cover. It was very intriguing to me. It looks very creepy. Um, but this whole story kind of is confusing and it keeps you guessing. And it kind of has like a love triangle but like... But like a confusing triangle. And I don't really know how to describe this book to you. Uh, Wink is kind of, a, she is the daughter of a, a, like a psychic, kind of not psychic, but like, like fortune teller people. And so her whole family is kind of viewed of as freaks, and she gets bullied a lot. Poppy is one of the popular girls, and she's very self-centered. And then Midnight is the love boy romance person that they're interested in and he's kind of just like your average Joe I feel like but I don't know it, it's kind of it, I just I don't know I give this like three three and a half maybe stars and next sorry that was a bad synopsis next I have Red Queen and Glass Sword um, I read both of these month, uh, both of these this month, but I have not read King's Cage yet. It's gonna be in next month. Um, I really did enjoy both of these. Red Queen was definitely better than Glass Sword, um, but this still had me reeled in. I still enjoyed it, and I will continue with the series. This was really popular on BookTube when it first came out. I don't know how long ago that was, but it's been a while. But I finally decided to read it. Uh, there's a lot of mixed reviews. Some say that this series is kind of predictable and kind of like nothing special, but I thought it was a really good s first series. I, I liked this first book. I love this cover. It's very awesome looking. This deals with a girl who, okay, there is silver and there's red. You know, you either bleed red blood and that's kind of like you're you're down in the dumps, like they don't care about you. Or you bleed silver, which then you have like powers of some sort, and you're kind of like the higher up people. And um, there's war going on, and you know, kids are being sent to war practically not like kids, kids like 14, 15, 15, I think it was 15. Uh, at first it was like 18, but then they lowered it to 16, 15. I don't know if I'm right about that, but yeah, and so this girl who was a red blood, or believed to be a red blood, uh, finds out that she has powers like a silver. And so she's a new blood, and she finds out all this other stuff, and the queen is trying to kill her, and she has some love interest, and it's really, I don't know, I really suck at explaining books to people. It, it, I just, I like these. I like these. I gave this like a four star, uh, stars. I gave this like a 3.75. Next I have Love Walked In by Marissa De Los Santos. Um, as you can see, I did not read very much of this book. I read about like 30 pages. Yeah, exactly 30 pages. And then I quit. I didn't like how small the print was. I wasn't really interested in the story. It was an adult fiction novel. So I, I don't really like connect with adult fiction all that much. Um, so yeah, I can't really review this. I don't even really know what it's about. It's something about like, she was in a cafe, she worked there, and this man came in and it was like love at first sight kind of deal. Then I have another popular book, Soundless by Michelle Mead. I've had a lot of mixed reviews on this too. I give this like a 3.5 stars, maybe 3.75. I, I did enjoy it. I'm glad I read it. It deals with uh, this culture of people who have lost their hearing and they live on top of this mountain and really there's like three jobs you can do. You can mine, you can be an artist and I, I don't know, some kind of servant or whatever. The artist is like the higher up people. They draw what has happened in history 
and they're really important in society and she was an artist and her sister also is an artist but her sister is losing her sight and it's now taking over that so many people are losing their sight also and not just their hearing and so this is kind of like making so many people like die and it's like gonna be like the end of their lives because like their whole thing's gonna collapse like their whole town and they depend on food coming in from the line line keeper is what they call them they have to send down all these metals uh through a little cart that goes against a line like a pulley i guess and then in return they get food shipped to them but recently the food has been cut down and her and her love interest go on a quest to uh, find out why the food is being cut down and they discover uh, a lot of secrets so yeah next I have counting by sevens by Holly Goldberg Sloan um I didn't really love this I mean I started out good it deals with this kind of like quirky girl who's like really she's really smart she's like a genius and her parents uh, have both died and so she has to see a counselor at school and she needs to find a place to live and has to deal with like the social workers and everything I just felt like this was a bit too long and a bit too boring like nothing was really bringing me in it was a good beginning but I just didn't like I halfway through I was like ready to be over with it the last one I have I didn't quite finish just yet I have a couple more pages and you know before I even upload this video to start editing I will finish it I'm gonna read it like right after I finish recording this um I just don't have enough time right now to finish reading this but Codename Verity by Elizabeth Ween I don't know how to say her last name this is a different cover than what uh, I've seen a lot on booktube but I really like this cover her hands are like tied behind her back or her and the girl I don't know if it's her hands tied behind her back or her and the girl tied together uh, during the one scene in here this is a historical fiction novel that deals with World War II and it deals with two friends Maddie and Julie who are really have this great friendship and um, one of them ha is captured and held prisoner by the Nazis and she writes about her time there and then we switch over viewpoints about halfway through the book to Maddie's point of view and her worrying about Julie and where Julie is and then we find out all this other stuff and it's it's a really great story of friendship I gave this like a, a 3.75 uh, I'm I don't love it like everyone else does but I do appreciate the friendship and the cleverness and I, I like the insight of some history along it I don't know Anyway, that's all I have for this month. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Feel free to follow me on any social media sites that I will link below. Make sure you hit subscribe and give me a big thumbs up, please. And have a good day. Bye.